On the Pattern tab, you can create new patterns. So first, select the zone that you want this pattern to display on. So to turn on the zones, you click the toggle switches on the left, and then to change the pattern of that zone, you click the checkbox. And if the check is there, that means you're changing that pattern. Something to note is that patterns are not specific to a zone. You can use them in any zone. Then you'll select the movement of the pattern with the top drop-down menu. You can change the number of colors in the pattern with the plus and minus buttons. To change the color of an LED in a pattern, click on the box that you want to change the color of, and you can change the color with the sliding menu, or you can put your own RGB values in, and you can also adjust the brightness of that color. If you come up with a color that you really like and would like to save, you can click and hold a box down in the custom colors section and it will replace that color with the color that you want to save. And if you want to restore the, old, the original color of the custom colors, you can double click that box. You can go to the adjust tab at the top of the page to add a transform in this top dropdown. A transform is a change in the way that the pattern moves. You can change, use the plus and minus buttons to change the amount of LEDs in that movement or to skip LEDs with the plus and minus buttons. You can add an effect, so either twinkle or lightning, and change the speed of that effect, so change the speed of the lightning. You can also change the speed of the whole pattern with the sliding bar to the right of speed or the brightness of the whole pattern with the sliding bar. And you can also add or remove RGB from the entire pattern with the sliding bars. Then you can press save. You can name your new pattern. Choose the category that you want to save it under or create a new category.